So guys, we are outside the Stokeman headquarters. I think it's time to show you another we uh, tour of the updated offices. You know, it's 2022 now. We've not shown them for a while. So uh, yeah, Luke's going to lead the way and we're going to take you for a nice wee tour around the Stokeman HQ. We ready guys? Let's you are now through. invited into the Stokeman HQ. It's a special access only. Okay guys, so this is the entrance into the Stokeman HQ, um, we'll open the door um, and as you can see the first thing we come up is this poster, it says lions do not care about sheep's opinions and that's exactly what we're kind of doing here, um, we're trying to do it our own way, trying to go on and yeah, just, just do stuff that we believe in so I think that's pretty cool and then the next one down Everything you can imagine is possible and it's make it happen, make it happen. So um, I think this is very apt for, certainly for me, because before I didn't believe that what we've done um, is possible. But now thankfully, you know, I've got that self-belief. And you know, training with Tom, seeing what Tom's done, winning World's Strongest Man, he's really kind of seen that, you know, that kind of mindset change. And then this is- This is my favorite one. Everyone wants to eat, but you're willing to hunt. <laughs> The quote says it there itself. Everyone wants to be a champion, but nobody wanting to work hard. So yes, yeah, so that's my favorite one. So this is a motivational wall. As soon as you come into this HQ, you automatically mind switches, I think, yeah, to definitely. motivation, positivity, and everything like that. So yeah, it's a good thing to, uh, when as soon as you come through those doors, you can see this wall. It's yeah. a great thing to see. So I think before the last time we showed you, we didn't have Nothing the, the roof. So we've got the suspended ceiling with the spotlights coming down. Um, Obviously carpets on the floor now. Um, Painted walls. The only thing really in the corridor remaining is, is the bit down the sec down this bit here. So we're going to have a shelving unit there to store our trophies and stuff. So again, as you walk down, you see the big trophies. World's Strongest Man. We'll have some photos of Tom and I. Um, and yeah, it's it's just about creating that kind of environment where we come in. It's it's kind of positive. That's all we want to do is have positive kind of thoughts in here you know as soon as negative things it kind of spreads like wildfire and if, if that negativity does get hold of you it's very detrimental to to what we're trying to do so yeah that's a wee corridor so in here we'll go into the merch. I mean, usually harry's here but unfortunately he's <laughs> harry's harry's not in it at the moment so this is where all the orders happen um it's annoying because it's not as fully stocked as it normally is we've still got the the Stoltman grey and black hoodies and um, all the Lever Legacy stuff, white, black, pink, loads of them. We've got all the Lever Legacy t-shirts, World's Strongest Man t-shirts. Unfortunately, the spicy Stoltman t-shirts isn't um, as full as we'd like it to be, but there there is a new stock, um, big stock update coming soon. Um, we have also got, I think we've talked about it before, so our new um, Alexei Novikov, um, uh, T-shirts are in, so they'll be getting rolled. And what about this one? Andy the Bulldozer Black, coming very soon to the Stoltman Brothers website. Boom. So this this is the next stage for us in the merch side of things. So we're actually taking on other athletes um, and doing their merchandise. So we've got Alexei Novikov, we've got Andy Black, we've got Gav Bolton, Kevin Fairs, who recently just broke the world record in the Nickel Stones last year in Glasgow. So we've just got his design. Paul Dwyer. Dwyer's coming on board, JF Caron, Robert Oberst, Donna Moore, um, anyone else? I've probably forgotten someone. But what that's your favourite straw men under one roof, basically, isn't it? So yeah, it's going to be good. So what we're what we're going to do um, with with this new idea, this this new merchandise. So with the guys that are coming on board, we've said that we'll we'll split the profits. Obviously, there's a bit of a uh, startup cost for us. We're getting all the designs done. We're doing the orders. We're doing the manufacturing. We're sending out the orders as well. So we're going to cover that and then split the the profits with the guys. So so what we're hoping to do is show the the other athletes that, that there is a way of making money because we see what the merchandise does for us and obviously you guys um, are such a huge part to that. You know, you buy our stuff and it's it's so, so 
humbling almost that we want the other guys to kind of come on board um, and kind of make money, become full time strong men, and to then grow the sport. Isn't it? We're trying to grow the yeah, sport yeah. So that's. I mean, this room here is is too small at the moment. You know, we've got Girax and other rooms as well. So eventually. We've got more plans, so we'll talk about that later. But this is predominantly the merchandise room. This is where Harry lives. <laughs> he knows where everything is. I don't know where anything is. Right, let's follow Tommy. Where's Tommy going now? Oh, guys. Drum roll. Uh, this is the magical... Oh, why is it so dark? This is where the wizards... Obviously, Gab's chair is empty because he's behind the camera. <laughs> Simon's a wizard. And, uh, Simon! Something. Say hi. Hi. What are so you doing? Switch the lights on so you can see. Yeah. It's just Simon, cover your eyes. He's editing. <laughs> so this is actually the Gav Bolton. Gav Bolton, the Welsh pool. Um, design, which looks pretty cool, I think. That's only the deadlift. Uh, and then we're Bolton in the back. So that's um, these are all going to be really soon. So we're getting a new website done. Um, so that'll be, I don't know whenever that's done, but obviously as Tom says, this is the the stuff where Simon and Gab's... We're not allowed in this room because there's too much expensive computers and stuff in here, so <laughs> we just but, draw on the whiteboards. Yeah, it's nice, we're speaking of the whiteboards, so we've got the one behind Simon, this is where, you know, we're talking about the merchandise, what we've got, so core, rotational, premium, so there's all different types of merchandise we're wanting to do. Um, plans when we need to release it, um, yeah, all different things. So it's yeah, it's nice to you know have that plan and, and try and kind of optimize it as much as we can. And then this whiteboard is like the YouTube ideas, what we've got coming up, um, sponsor stuff, etc., etc. Um, and this stuff is uh, Simon's magic water that he drinks. Um, he, Can you guess what is in this this uh, glass bottle? It's he found it in um, Mordor in Lord of the Rings, um, with Frodo and Gandalf, and he drinks it and he becomes invisible. So, yeah. That's or you could just get the invisible cloak from Harry Potter. Be easier. Um, so these are all some samples as well that we've got. Not the uh, Santa costume. Not the Santas, but th these are samples that we've got from um, the the manufacturer that we we can uh, deal with, so we go through that, it's a little bit messy. Um, yeah, so this is where all the YouTube videos get edited, and the Facebook videos, and everything else that we do computer-based. So, we'll go through to the, the next little one. Uh, so yeah, some more, another G-Rock with some clothes and stuff. We'll go to the merch uh, physio. Well, this is where we get the physio. So this is the physio slash auto storeroom, so we've got a couple of G-Racks um, and then, yeah, as Tom says, the physio, so you can talk us through that, Tommy. Oh, you know the, what happens here. This is Ross's room. This is where we come every Wednesday. Ross has his clients in here. Well, I think eventually we'll move all this out and this will be kind of Ross's own, own room uh, for him to kind of just do what he wants with. But yeah, right now it's all storage here. And then, like we said, Wednesday, this is where we come, get beaten up. And uh, yeah, it's a great kind of room to have as part of the Stockman HQ as well. At least we have somewhere where people that you know need a room for us to work on us or sit in, we have this kind of available for anybody that wants to come up and you know use it and help us. So. I think, yeah, I think that's what we're going to be doing as well, maybe getting someone else in to, to work in. So it's, as Tom says, Ross um, from Caledonia Clinic, he's up on Tuesday evening and Wednesday um, during the day. And then, you know, it's available for the rest of the week. So we'll maybe get another kind of physio in um, to work on us. Because I think the more, I've found that as well, I don't know about you, but the heavier our weights get, the worse our body starts to feel. Yeah, and we used to have to find places to go, but at least we got this now, so mm. if anybody's like, oh, I can't come out of a room, well, we've got one here, so it's all good. But yeah, this is Ross's base right now, he travels all the way up from Glasgow, so... Uh -huh. yes. And then we've got a little stash of whiskey. Not not that we drink it, obviously, of course. And then uh, we've got a little... This is my whiskey. <laughs> little kitchen area here. Um, I think, I mean... Got the fridge, not very well stocked at the moment. Um, coffee machine, toaster, microwave, so this keeps us fueled. My vegan, obviously all you guys love us doing vegan stuff, so. Um, and then in here is the studio 
Here they are. As you say, Krebs, this is my favourite part of their house. <laughs> so, this is obviously, you've probably seen it, the podcast area. Um, where we film our podcasts um, and this is where Tom and I sit kind of if we've got stuff to do day to day if we've got meetings phone calls interviews then we sit here we've got our wee wine cooler as well this is I'm buzzing with this wine cooler but instead of wine it's tins of rain oh fancy guys you've seen it here first so that's how we do it that was actually Ali G that got us that. We can control the lighting in here, so that was, I think, one of the things that Simon was wanting us to be able to do. So we've got the, the dimmer switches. We can have it nice and low. We can just have the, the spotlights down, or then we can just go back on full. Or maybe keep the ambiance like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's again, it's pretty much done, the, the offices. Um, for you guys that have kind of followed us and watched us from day one, you would have remembered the wee office in the gym that we had. Very that's, stressful. That's where we did all our orders, that's where we did pretty much everything. Simon was in there editing in the cold, I think he had three heaters going. I was hearing people slamming weights and everything and getting disturbed by people walking in. So, yeah. so I think that's, and that's one of the reasons why we've got those posters there as well, is, is actually to gen genuinely believe that anything is possible because again Tom and I you know we started doing this however many years ago 10-15 years ago started lifting weights and because of lifting weights we've now been able to start a business have this office you know employ Gabs, Simon, Harry um, and Tom myself obviously working for the business so you know it is possible but it's just this takes a little bit of time and kind of hard work and dedication mm. But this is this is by no means the the finished product, is it? You know, it's um, the hopes or the the vision, I suppose, for us is to to build something really special up here. You know, that's what we want to do. And, um, We're gonna get signs everywhere around the world, not just in Vergara, baby. <laughs> but that's that's like the next step. You know, speaking to the likes of SBD, you know, they're <laughs> building a a massive uh, factory warehouse um, down south. You know, I'm speaking to Ben from uh, SPD, the owner of SPD. You know, again, it's it's we've said it before. It's about being exposed to that ex that success. So for me and Tom, I think it's very important that we have that capability. You know, we went down to My Protein, we saw their warehouses, um, which is incredible. So that's what we want to do. Um, we want to be able to set up our own purpose-built facility. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the the Rogue. Remember the Rogue uh, warehouse? And um, how there's like, oh, yeah, you go yeah, in, yeah. or the, the HQ. Gyms and yeah. and the so gym. you've got your shop, then you've got a gym there, and then you've got the factory in the back. So it's all in one, basically. That's what I think would be pretty cool. Have a studio built for whatever you want to do, but it's just, you know, getting to that next stage, that's the, that's the challenge, because we're, you know, people kind of sometimes settle for what they've got, I think, and and for us, we need to keep pushing it, and that goes hand in hand with strongman because Tom's one, world strongest man. You don't want to just stop there. You know, you want to keep pushing the boundaries and um, never be content with what you've got. Yeah. So, and uh, when you're content, content, not consent. Yeah. Jesus, what an idea. Yeah. I think being content. I've been asked sometimes when when will I be content or when will Tom be content, and I think content is quite a. I don't know. For me, it's quite a dangerous word. You know, because I can feel content in a second but then I always want to be more content you know I want to you know when I'm chilling in bed watching TV I'm content then and probably you are as well you know you're happy but then being content is fine but I think we all always have to strive for a little bit more and um, I think if we all do that then things will be okay right guys that's the tour done right it's time for you to go now get out get go on get get we're done See you later. <laughs>